Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. After lots of running around like a headless chicken uh, under the moors of Tartarus, we have finally found <laughs> the crystal that we were looking for. My god, this place is a maze. So there we go, we now have the Dexa Seed. Um, also, we have been getting some pretty juicy levels here. Uh, so, Vase is up to 58, Ica 57, Fina 55, and Enrique trailing slightly behind on uh, 53. So, Dexa Seed, you say? Mm. Who, oh who, can have the Dexa Seed? I'm now on holiday. I've been filming a... Oh, got the Isil Seed, too. Increases will. Well, give that to Fina. Uh, I have been recording uh, a couple of... Super secret projects. One including uh, my good friend who has been helping me uh, quite a lot with this let's play. Uh, I mean, increases agile by one. Mm. You know what? I don't know. Just give it to Fina, I suppose. There's probably um, a specific character set who's supposed to have um, each specific skill, but I don't know. Anyway, let's continue exploring the moors of Tartarus. So yes, yeah, a couple of uh, super secret projects going on in the background. Um, one, I think, is going to be a lot of fun. And one that's just, well, it's a bit of a Brucey bonus, which also, at least for me, is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, let's just keep grinding through these guys. Yeah, very, very easy to um, get lost here. Fighting a lot of weird bugs and stuff too. Also, these things really don't like um, our super moves, sadly. Or should I say they're getting incredibly resistant to our super moves. It feels like we're, we're I wouldn't say underleveled, but... I don't think we're as overpowered as I was hoping for this stage. Uh, also, the game's librarian has um, given me a list of stuff that we need to accomplish to get the final um, challenge of the game to spawn. And there's quite the laundry lift of, of stuff to do for that. However, I think we've done the overwhelming majority of it. We're really racking in the money here as well, which is also fantastic. Now, I think we're supposed to go this way. But we're just going to come into endless quantities of enemies, which is fine. It's all experience and it's all money. And we do need to get a million um, gold as well. So, it's all money in the purse. So, we're, we're almost up to 800 thousand so that's not bad that's that's a, a, a decent amount of coin I would say I mean I don't know about you guys but if I had 800,000 gold in the bank I would be pretty pretty happy I'd probably give up my job actually <laughs> I'd probably give it up probably there ain't no fucking probably some sunshine I'd be out of there anyway let's go now I think because the yeah, so the first chest crystal was through there. So we want to head our little asses down here. So this is where we were getting confused. Okay, so as far as I know, um, that is the last crystal that... Whoa, hello! What are you? Dracularg. Okay, Mr. Dracularg. Prepare to meet thy end. Let's save up a little bit for... Let's give him a round of standard attacks. Let's see how tough this thing is. Alright, he's not too bad. We don't know how hard he hits us, though. Badass looking enemy, though. Really cool. Yeah, we'll have this guy buried. Even Fina's chipping a little bit off the old block, eh? Ooh, the counteract counter-attack I should say does sting though with his stinky frost breath ooh yeah that stings that stings but you know what this is gonna hurt a whole load more what's 
So I sit here and drink coffee. Cold coffee, but yeah. Yes, we know these. Whoa, 5,000 damage. Not bad. Is it over already? I think it is over already. Right, job well done. Defensive aura. What does that do? Let's have a little poke around, shall we? Defensive aura. Um, I think that's one that we've already had a few times, to be fair. Defensive aura. I got two of those. Renders the wearer invulnerable to normal attacks. That actually could be overpowered, I suppose, depending. Right, let's keep going. Oh, I guess this wasn't really a very long dungeon, I suppose. We just spent way too long. Oh, that's in the dark rift, dude. We just spent way too long um, examining and flying and looking and searching for one chest. But we need those chests, damn it. What have we got? Ah, uh, just some chaff. We can handle this riffraff. Shouldn't be too much to worry about. There we go. Just a quick tap and he's dead. Literally probably could have poked him and he would have died. Nearly got two levels in here, I think. Which ain't to be sniffed at, I guess. Oh, oh wow, look at this. Well, this is posh. This is very posh. Right. Might be worth actually healing ourselves. Just, you know, gonna throw that out there. Uh, magic. Uh, entire party. Much better. Look at this. This looks wicked. Huh. Um, it's that, oh god, hello. Hello there. You're going to be rather nasty, aren't you? Well, let's go have a little look at this thing. That's definitely what we're here to look for. Is that? It's literally just been slumbering here all this time, just buried under. That's pretty ominous. <laughs> Yelagar, the yellow Gygus. Huh. Silver like mages managed to put him to sleep. Then they sealed him uh, in here. Yellow guy is extremely powerful, so it's best that we don't wake him. Uh, I think he's already woken up. Um, I, the fact that his head was moving around kind of uh, tips me off to that. The crystal is in uh, Yelagar's possession. We have to find a way to remove it without wakening him. Yeah, good luck with that. Looks pretty awake to me. This is bad. Great, he's awake. Yeah, well done. Yes, we really snuck in there like a pissed husband trying to sneak back home after a night out. If we stay here, we won't be able to dodge the lightning. We have to get away from him. Engines, full reverse. Yeah. I guess we're going to go outside. Ah, he's making an end. Oh, God. Okay. Well, luckily, he's giving us an escape vector. Whoa, dude. This is bad. Yes, Ika. Yes, it is. He made breaking the seal look easy. This isn't a good sign. 
It looks like we're going to have to fight him to get the crystal. Battle stations! Let's take this thing down. Okay. Let's do this. Yoga, ancient records say its thunder tore open the skies themselves and its roar shook the ground. Whoa, it doesn't sound like a very friendly Yugas. Vase, we should be extra careful. Yeah, well, we're going to start buffing ourselves to start with because, you know. Uh, let's go for some... You know, before we do anything, let's... Let's cast quicker on ourselves, I think. Or do we want to go straight for Incrum? Probably Incrum. Right, buff of Incrum. And Ica, I want you to buff us with. If you have the magic, of course, which you should do. Give us some quicker. Uh, now. I guess we're just going to go gear grease and more gear grease. And then we're going to try and rain death down on this thing. So we have to attack this from above. If we get the option of what to do, we have to attack from above. With cannons and torpedoes. Still, here we go. At least we're out and we can manoeuvre. Just hold this attack pattern. Very cool design, actually. So, photon charge. How much damage are we going to take here? Ooh, that looks rather nasty. Alright, actually not bad. That's fine. I was expecting him to do significant amounts of damage, but no, that's cool. We can handle that. Our problem is we're going to be tearing through our spiritual power. Evasive action. Son of a bitch. Right, okay, so we've got 48. Um, what we could do, let's just give him some ancient cannon, more ancient cannon. Uh, give him the torpedo. It gives us 20 left. You know what? Let's... Increases your chance of critical hits. Replenishes HP to full. Max out your spirit points. Do it. I think that's a worthwhile trade-off. Of course, we're going to lose the cannons. Yeah, so this photon charge isn't really much to write home about. I mean, it does enough damage, but it's not too bad. Maybe we are overleveled. I don't know. And that's going to miss as well. Don't know why. We're just disappearing off into the sunset at the moment. Surely a better idea would be to turn and attack. I think there should be better indications of what's going on in each battle. Or, or each turn, I should say. Like, if it should at least show you your ship direction. Right, this might hurt. This might hurt a lot. No, not really. Okay, we're good. I mean, if that is his ultimate attack, which is, ooh. Right, so the Arc Whale Torpedo is where it's at. Good to know. Very good to know. So we're going to have to rebuff. Looks kind of flat. Maybe we should try attacking from above or below. It might be easier to hit it that way. Uh, yep, we're going to attack it from above. Let's try attacking it from above. Increasing altitude. Nice. Okay, so. Let's... 
we're not buffed anymore, are we? That's disappointing. Right, let's unleash the cannon. If we can. Um... Fina, I want you to buff us again. Um... Where is it? Incrum, right. Open us up with a with a buff. And you know what? Let the Arc Whale torpedo fly. And that gives us plenty of uh, attacks. And plenty of um, buffing, hopefully. And uh, health wise, we should be fine. And you're gonna hit us with a photon charge again. Well that's shouldn't be too much to worry about. Yeah, we're fine. Now, I'm guessing our cannons are going to miss, because again, for some reason, we're pointing in a totally different... Um, oh, no, we are actually turning to engage. Might have to rely on our torpedoes here. Maybe. Yeah, ancient cannon. So I'm guessing our cannons are useless here. That's good to know. He's going to use his ultimate attack again. Which doesn't really bother us. Yeah, we won't bother with our cannons. We'll just go for the uh, torpedo as much as we can. Torpedo did a juicy amount of damage there. That's cool. So I guess maybe if we go below him, damn, not a single weak point. Hmm, more importantly, is it just me or does that thing look a little more active? Is there still weakening on it or something? Perhaps, but whatever the reason, it appears to be building up for some sort of attack. I wish there was some way we could knock it off balance, like we've done with the other Gigas. But it's just too big. Anything short of the Moonstone Cannon probably won't even make that thing budge. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just kind of thinking that too. Right, actually, we've got a advantage here. So let's use the advantage. Um, let's, I guess, unleash the torpedo. Sure. Let's also... Um... Increases your chance of delivering critical hits. Replenish your ship. I mean, our health is fine. Raise your ship's attack and defense for a short time. That's quite cool. Double all of your spirit points. Raise your... Yeah. Protect your ship from enemy camp... Ah, uh, pretty rubbish. Um, let's use that. She'll increase our chance of using critical hits. And then, of course, we're going to unleash the Moonstone Cannon. Oh! Oh, ho, ho. okay. The Ancient Cannon really rocks him. So we can hit him with the cannons if we're in a turn with a critical chance. Or an advantage. Whatever that C stands for. Give him the torpedoes. Oh, face on charge, incoming. Oh. oh, that's gonna hurt. Wait, does the photon charge hurt him as well? It kinda looks like it does. Oh, that did a good chunk of damage. Preparing to attack, eh? Alright, here we go, Moonstone Cannon. Let's give him everything we have. Ooh, direct hit. Love it. Blast the hole clean through him. Very nice. Target lost. Is that us or him? 
All right, that did it. It's off balance. Ha <laughs> ha, leave it to the Moonstone Cannon. All right, everyone, now's our chance. Open fire. Hey, so we can get another shot with the Moonstone Cannon. Give it to him. We don't have any advantages, so let's pop some gear grease. And then I guess, I guess we'll pop a complete kit. Just for prosperity. God, this Moonstone Cannon is mental. It doesn't like it. No, sir, it doesn't like it. Whoa. How's that feel? You big yellow bastard. Now, imagine that's rocked him. Let's make sure we've got plenty of spirit points. Don't want to run low on those. No point taking evasive action now, boy. You're coming apart at the seams. Or at least you will be. Nice. Get us all completely healed. All that damage is now rendered moot. Right, what now? Orders, please. Uh, let's... I guess we could... No, we don't want to watch what he does. Pursue an attack. Ah, oh, that loses us the... Moonstone Cannon. That's fine. I guess... Hmm. Maybe we should have stayed back and see what he does. Um, right, so let's start buffing anyway. Incrim, sure. Uh, I don't know if there's like literally any point in using Quicker, but I mean, there it is. Nope. Uh, let's just use gear grease, sure, why not? And we will, with him, you know what? Use the torpedoes, sure. Do it. Hopefully, we can turn around and blast him into next week. Hopefully. Yeah, Quicker doesn't seem to be that useful, but you know what? I'm happy to take any kind of advantage I can. Ooh, okay, that's fine. I mean, it doesn't really do a humongous amount of damage. Yeah, it's like not even 2,000 damage. Kind of weak source, really. And we're very close to maxed out on spirit points. It's not really spirit points that are an issue, it's getting an opportunity to attack. That's the rub. Alright, let's give him a couple of torpedoes anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Did nearly 3,000 damage that time. Almost boiled away some of the paintwork. Right, so advantages on our side here. So we're going to hit him with that. Uh, we are fully buffed. We're we just going to use Ancient Cannon and the Torpedo. Hit him there with the Torpedo. And we'll blast him with the Moonstone Cannon as well. We're going to punish him this round. Oh, yes. Oh, he's done. He's done for. He's dusted. Looks like it's going to be a point blank range thing as well. Oh, might not even get to use the Moonstone Cannon. Nope. Didn't even need it. 
powerful, my ass. Right, okay. Nice chunk of XP, though. Yeah, I... Mm, okay, I expected a little bit more from him, I suppose. But, whatever. Ooh, Ica, so close to leveling. Captain Stripe and Thunder Cutlass. Now that sounds cool. Whoa! We did it! We did! Of course we did it. That wasn't easy. Well, I mean... Uh, I beg to differ. Now that's a mess. It's amazing that we're able to get it, uh, get it before the Armada. Well, since we got the yellow crystal, we should head back to Crescent Island. This is the fifth moon crystal that we've collected. And now, my quest is finished. Oh, I don't think so. Fina. That crater looks really hot. Received the yellow moon crystal. Well... And just like that, we have the yellow moon crystal. Very nice. Right, let's drop us a save. Um, now, let's, oh God, we've got like seven hours of gameplay, like over seven hours of gameplay ago. So yellow moon crystal is in the bag. Very nice stuff, guys. Um, pretty much now, I suppose we've got to go back to our island. Um, which I suppose we could do that. Oh, um, should we go check out Sailor's Island? See if we can get another black spot just yet. I'm not sure if we can get one just yet, but we'll have a look. Oh, hey. Eh? Hey, what's the stats? Is this one of the bounties? It could be. It is not a bounty. Um, okay, where did you come from? Uh, you know what, dude? You're about to have a bad time. I'm just gonna say that. Let's have some gear grease. And then we will... I guess Ingram and I guess quicker and then we'll kill him next turn with our cannon. Really? I thought we was in upper sky. Were we not in upper sky? Are these guys now in lower sky? Although ironically enough he's doing more damage to us than the Gigas did. Well, kind of. Oh okay, we can't actually use that's fine. Let's just hammer him with everything we have. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I mean, honestly. What do you think you're doing with those little guns of yours, sir? I hope you got parachutes. Oh wait, looks like your parachute's burning. Got it. Okay. Pitiful amount of XP, but at least I could got a level out of it. Frost bomb and a thunder bomb. Are we not? We are in upper sky. Interesting. Anywho, let's Um go for items. We got a captain stripe, didn't we? Let's patch up our ship and apply the captain stripe. Which is, there we go. 
Yeah. Yeah, we've got a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh. It, it upgrades your health, but it doesn't actually um, give you that health straight away. Kind of shortchanges you like that. So, 54,000 HP for that, which is pretty gnarly. Now, let's have a look at Vase's new um, weapon. So, he's got the Wind Slicer at the moment. Yeah, that's better. An ancient cutlass made from the yellow Yellagar's hardened skin. Some say it can cut through lightning. Really? Well, we shall have that bad boy for now. Anyway, onwards to Sailor's Island, I guess. Might be able to replenish some of our gear there, if nothing else. See if we can get a black spot. I don't think we can get another one of those actually until another bit of story happens. But we shall soon find out. And we did sell all of our discoveries if memory serves. But let's go double check. <laughs> I can't remember how many fights we've got left with uh, Morse name. Just one, I think. I can't believe it! Sky Battle King Vase! Wow. That's pretty epic. Sky Battle King Vase. Dude. Yeah, alright. You're welcome. You're honoured to be in my presence. I get it. I get it. Now, let's go and check out the shop. Actually, I don't know if there's anything here we can restock on. I don't think there's really anything. I think we've kind of um, outgrown all this stuff. Bless the moons! That's right. Um, restores all HP for one ally. You know what? Sure. There you go. What else have we got here? Oh, we can buy these too. Cura crystals. Chom. Ah, oh, we can buy choms. Interesting. Well, we don't really want to buy choms and things like that. I don't think we're ever going to be using these boxes, to be honest. I mean, never say never. So, we can sell these, according to my good friend, the Games Librarian. Because although um, they're being looked for... Right, we want to hold on to that. Although um, our friend is looking for those. Nice. We can sell that too. Uh, it doesn't actually do anything. Whether it was because it was like a cut quest or something. So I think we're going to get rid of the tuna cutlass. Sure. And that. Don't need them. And the wind slicer. Yeah, we're done with that too. Right, okay. Protects. Yeah, we don't need that. Ooh, black map. We do not need that many. We shall sell all but one. Let's generate some gold here. Wind gem ring. Protects against sleep. Okay, well, that's useful. Counter bracer. No. Defensive aura. Uh, radiant fur. Improves defense and magic defense. No. Uh, improves defense. Wearer to avoid most normal attacks. Uh, Wearer's dodge and defense. Yeah. Well, we're never going to need that many. So we'll sell one of them. Okay. Right. Well, we've made nearly 100k. So, you know. Made at least 80k from that. Which is not an insignificant amount of coin. Now, can we replace anything for our ship here? I don't think we can. Yep, Sky Battle King here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, X Cannon. Pyral Cannon. Rotating cannon designed for battleships. Has red properties and high accuracy. Ooh. So, oh, and a compound deck. Yeah, we don't want the compound deck. Complete kit we don't need. Repair kits we don't need. 
X cannons though. Uh, sure, actually. Oh, the pyro cannon though. So I don't understand why that's more expensive. So if that's better than our ancient cannon. I mean, it's more accurate, significantly more accurate, but we do get a humongous penalty. So wax. Oh, that's interesting. So that um, Apo wax, I guess casts Incrum, but for four turns instead of two. Uh, yeah, let's, let's pick up a couple of packs of that. Now, I don't know what to go for. Like, the X cannon does significantly more damage. The Pyro cannon is worth a lot more money. So... It also takes a lot less... Yeah, it takes less spirit to fire as well. Well, I'd rather damage over accuracy because like, we don't really have a, much of an issue with accuracy anyway. So let's get two of those. Yeah, they do 300 damage. It costs nine spirit to fire. That's curious. See, the Pyral Cannon. I mean... No, I'm pretty happy to have the X Cannon. Right, let's sell our old Ancient Cannons anyway. Get a decent amount of money for those. Got loads of um, equipment here. You don't need two floor heaters. Mm -mm -mm. Don't need the bombs. Never ever gonna use bombs. Thermal grease. Uh... Yeah, so that's the Apple Wax. Improves attack and defense power for two turns. Right, yeah. So that's the obsolete version of what we already have. Apple Wax. Four turns. That's that is ridiculously better for sure. Pyro bombs don't need. Thunder bomb definitely don't need. What's the hex shell? Barrier against artillery attacks for one turn. Yeah, not sure we're ever going to use it. Crystal ball, a work of art by well-known craftsman. You can keep it or sell it if you need the money. Well, we don't really need the money, but. Don't think we're ever going to use it. Okay. And with that, guys, I'm going to end the video. When we come back, I guess we're going to head back to the aisle. I might stop off at um, Hamachu Island or whatever it was called. Just to see uh, how we're doing on the checklist. But until then, guys, thanks for watching.